What's up guys, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe below. Uh, this is brought to you by my real estate business, Andrew Lipschutz Real Estate at Keller Williams Group One in Reno, Nevada. So to start off, uh, this video is about how to get the perfect smooth interior video shot for your real estate listing videos. So what I like to do is I film everything in 60 frames per second or 59.94 frames per second. Um, so that's basically gonna give you um, almost two and a half times as many frames than if you were to shoot in the standard 24 frames per, sec frames per second. So what that allows us to do is slow it down in post-production. So what I'm gonna do, do here is go through, click here, control shift click, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna modify the footage Click on interpret footage right there. And we're gonna change it to 24 frames per second. Okay, so that in itself is going to make the video actually a lot smoother because it's gonna be moving a lot slower. And that's kind of what you want. Um, so let me find a good clip here to give you an example. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Grab that. Go right about here. Now we're gonna drag and drop it onto the timeline. Delete this audio file. So as you can see, it's moving very slowly and smooth. But just to make sure to get all the imperfection out and make it completely 100% smooth, what we're gonna do is go up here Type in warp stabilizer. All right, so this is gonna be the most time consuming part of making these videos, is waiting on the warp stabilizer to render. And the camera I'm using doesn't use in-body image stabilization, so I just like to put one, the warp stabilizer on every single clip just to make sure that everything is smooth. <clears throat> Um, and while we wait on it to render, um, so the camera and the lens that I like to use on these projects, you can actually get this camera used for about $350. It's the Sony a6000. And the lens is a Venus Lewa 9mm. And that's a manual focus lens. And you can just put the focus on infinity and not have to mess with it at all. I really like this lens a lot. All right, so we're stabilizing now. <clears throat> what the f okay, so now we are completely stabilized. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to right click on the clip and nest. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to be able to manipulate the time, the speed and the time remapping. So I could go in here now, and I'll probably won't do this in the um, final edit, but just to show you guys exactly what I mean, you wouldn't be able to do this, do this unless you nested the clip. So I'm gonna go here, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. So now this popped up right here. So I'm gonna put this right about here, and this right about here, and then I'm gonna speed up all the way to a thousand percent and gradually go to that by doing this. So now the clip has this warp stabilizer so that there's no kind of shake whatsoever. And it has the time remap remapping as well. So it's pretty decent. Um, let's see. One thing that I will note is if you ever see a weird kind of motion in the footage from someone who used a warp stabilizer, it's because they had too much shaking in the video. And so I just clicked on the, on the clip that was nested. So now we're in the original clip right here. And to avoid that, you're going to go to smoothness and you're going to drop it a little bit. 
So I'll probably put this at 26% and see if it looks any better. I like it. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll, we'll get back to you. And thank you so much for watching this video.